And we're back. Okay, we'll start with this last panel here. I'm quickly just going to go in and uh, do all the blacks first. Just so I uh, can here. Make sure everything's working right. So, I uh, haven't decided on what page I'm going to do next, so I'll keep it as a surprise. It should be up uh, probably late next week. from the hassle of uh, filling in blacks later. Oh, this is a guy, do you guys want to see this? Or, because I could always come in here later. Or first thing and, and do this before I actually record the video. But I think you guys want to see the progress of it, so. Yeah, the good thing about the uh, lasso fill is you can actually go as heavy or as light as you want. Especially when you're outlining, you can actually get pretty precise when you're outlining. So don't be afraid to uh, say, well, I don't know if I want to go in here and do all that black or whatever. Because when you remember, you can just go in there and hit the... Uh, undo button which is a good thing about it so right here I'm gonna just do a little halo and you don't have to do the whole thing when you're doing this right just do quick little jet outs right you'll find how fast it is to fill blocks it's just amazing and by no time you have a completed page
here and just or some, try something that might work. Yeah, just, uh, you know, have fun with it, right? Sure, artwork, you know, do what you want. Just when you get into samples or doing professional work, that's when you got to be a little bit more uh, forgiving and see what the artist wants, right? But, hey, if you're doing samples and just, yeah, go to town. Don't be afraid to do anything. You could pretty much, I've never tried it before, but yeah, I'm you're probably sure, you're pretty sure that you can actually just go in there and maybe be able to do the whole page. Just with lasso fill. I don't know if it's ever been done before. I should try that. Just uh, skip back for now, and then we'll uh, just go in here and do the. Oops. And we will continue. So I guess we'll start with the hair first. Remember sweeping motions, right? So. Right, pull down in the black. Actually, right. Be your light source. And you, could, you know, especially with hair, you can add add lines, take away lines, right? I always like to add. Side lines. Maybe just come in here later and just clean that up. I 
This is just part of the hair, so I'll separate that. And here. This again. into this so you want to of course it's going into the black right so you don't want it out this way you want it in this way so when you do your pulls this is got it in here They're going into the black so you pull here and then go thick into there The same thing you can do here, right? right? Just it just breaks up all the black around it. You can do just do it. He had it labeled in there as black, but it just looks better if it's if you fade it out, right? Of course, these ones are going to be really, really thick because they're right under the then they're hidden in the shadow, right? Oops, ugly line. Vary your line weight as much as possible. Cannot stress that as not about as much as as your exercises. Line weight is king. When I pull back, you'll be able to be able to see most of it. It might not look like something now, but when you pull back, you'll be able to see. Remember, it's going into the lip here, right? So you're actually going to have a little thing right here. Or it's actually going to be a shadow, right? This is where a little bit of anatomy comes in. If you know anatomy, right? So like up here, the hand's going to be covering this, so your lines up here will be thick. Right? And as you go down... It will get really, really thin, and then fade out. Right. Zoom with here, because you're gonna have lines coming up to the lip, where your lip will be right in there, right? Plus your light source. So it will start off thin here, right? And then go thicker, right? Yeah, 
that's my one big beef with the uh, doing digital is uh, is your pen over, over top of glass isn't as uh, precise as actually doing it on paper so you have a little bit of a learning curve from learning that right In here, remember black there. You want to fade it out, right? So your lines in here will be thick. Then fade it out. Same with in here, right? Be thick at the bottom. Now with here, when you get into the chin, it's just going to be it should be really, really heavy. Remember, you're going to be cross hatching this back the other way, right? So, right. So figure out where your light source is coming from. So it's going to be coming from this direction, right? It's going to be coming from here. So that means your it'll be thin. Right. And just go in there and fill that in. I'll just leave a little, little halo here. And of course, under the chin, so these lines here are going to be nice and thick. And fade it out. Alright, create depth. Same with here. These are nice thick lines. You could either thin them out or just make them closer together. Remember, as you get as you get further away into the light, then just uh, break up your lines. And just your inside lines, nice and thin. Here, coming down. Remember, it's going into the black, right? So it'll be up. And of course here, it'll be thin here. And as you get into the black, pull them in thick. Here's my computer. All the fans turning on. here it's got a block there but you're going to be really really thick so 
And remember as you go further out, go thinner. Same with down here, right? You're coming into the other side of the mouth, so it'll be thick. Right? And here will be... And as you get it top, go thicker. Same with here, thin on the bottom, as you go thicker up top, create a nice transition, right? Like I said, this is once I pull back, you'll be able to see all this. And this is this this style just varies from artist to artist, right? You know, try to pull out the strengths and weaknesses of the artist, right? And try to be as, as versatile as you can with other artists, right? Like, don't do the same artist over and over and over again. I guess I should really talk, but I am I branch out as much as I can, right? So if you actually looked at my portfolio that I took to San Diego, you'll see that I have different artists all over the pages. Don't just stick with one artist. Hey, I stick with these because I'm good at it, right? And find an artist that you're good with and then stick with it. Or style, but it's always best to branch out, right? The more styles you can get, the more work you'll get. Remember, they're just lines, right? So... Remember your stops, right? Another thing is, you know, master your to your tools as well, right? Find out what your tool can do, right? Because if you know that you can do this with one tool, and you should be able to do it with all tools, right? Like what you can do with a, a nib, you should be able to do with a brush. Like I could, I could, my brushwork can be. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless I told you that it was actually brush or nib. Because that's just how good I am with the brush, so. No. Yeah, Walden Wong in his last video. If you haven't uh, subscribed to him, then big shout out to Walden Wong. He has a lot of good tips about. Uh, varying your line weight and everything else, tool-wise and everything like that. Yeah, I highly suggest you uh, go subscribe or at least watch this page. Let's see, we're almost done here. We're just doing pulls here. Remember going into the black, right? So thin up top, thick at the bottom. We're almost done this page. Inside lines nice and thin. Nice 
nice and nice and thin. And these you want to be thick, so I just flick them out. Same with here. That's pretty much it. They're just filling in blocks. Oops, I forgot his chin. Just go back to the lasso fill and fill these in. Go. Oh, I missed something there. I missed something in that paddle there. Okay, so we'll get those. I should actually have these on preset, but oh well. Yeah, you could be on this on this page for another week if you wanted to. You'd just be so picky, right? Go in there and fix this line, fix this line, right? Add this, add that, right? Just, you just got to know when to stop, right? Because there's always something that you'll come back to and you'll be like, well, I could have done that better, could have done that better, could have done that better. It's just endless, right? It's just life as an artist, right? I think that's pretty much the right one here. And I could come in here with the white and just add some uh, reverse inking, but don't think I will because I pretty much did that all out with the black anyway. Same with here, it's coming down to a block, right? So it'll be. Right. 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 So 
over here. in there just because it's my artwork I can do what I want or my samples right so and that's about it for this one Yeah, it looks all right. Well, let me know what you think. Um, yeah, I haven't decided on the next one, next page, but it'll be a different artist. I haven't decided if it's going to be a pinup or probably, it'll probably be, uh, I don't know, it'll probably be a uh, page with backgrounds anyway, so I could teach you more, more textures and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, like, subscribe, share, right? See you on the next one. Yeah. Bye.